Hey, Grant Woldridge with Woldridge Boats here at Lake Washington. We're in the water. We're going to go run this 23-foot Super Sport Drifter inboard. It has a motor forward, dual 50-gallon tanks. We've got a 6.2 DI aluminum block Chevy engine, marinized by Chem Equipment 213 Hamilton Jet. So you'll see more details. Here we are at the back of the boat. Give you a little closer look. You can see the powder coat. It's a nice finish. Custom railings, nothing special, but just something the customer requested. Something more to grab onto. Lower here, climbing in and out, higher in the back, curved around the corners. Gives you a little comfort back here when things might be going. Got a shrimp or crab davit here for either downrigger brackets. Got our standard transom sink in the back. He's got his wash down hose. We've got some fenders and rope in here, a little cutting board on top. Got our Babe Ruth bat or tow post for kids. Stomp grate for your intake. Got a three quarter swim step, nine nine kicker. And again, this is the motor forward. This is a Chevrolet engine marinized by Chem Equipment. It's a 6.2 DI aluminum block. It's very light and powerful. It's uh, equivalent or more powerful than the old 8.1 496. Uh, but we're gonna be more economic and of course lighter and all that is great. We have a two foot drive shaft. That's what makes this what we call our motor forward. Pushes the motor forward. We can walk all the way around, fish all the way around. We have two fuel tanks, saddle tanks, 250 gallons in this boat. So that's a uh, um, 100 gallons total. This is with a, a Hamilton Jet 213, has a 4.0 kilowatt impeller, and it runs very nice. So there's a sand trap on this guy, and, and uh, that's the engine, and it goes good, and it sounds good, which is most important. You can see just in here, a couple 48-inch boxes. These are big boys um, because these also turn into a bed. You can take these backrests out, set them in the middle. We can fold across into a bed. We have a porta potty under the seat on that side. Nice canvas top. I still have a couple inches above my head. I can stand up inside. We've got the heavy deal, duty stainless steel bows, one inch versus standard seven eighths. Um, the stainless steel fittings for it. All line X floors, as you can see here. This has dual batteries, which are down under a compartment just in front of the engine. Lots of storage under the floor. Bentley Mariner suspension seats. Yeah, why don't you come take a look, closer look up front here. There you can see some optional rails here on the front. Again, the nice blue powder coat, beautiful. You can see Shakespeare antenna there for our VHF radio. Lee lock anchor can system, really neat. You can swap out that can for a, a bracket that holds a Columbia River anchor or some offshore salt anchors, number of different things, Minn Kota options, etc. You can see some headlights down recessed under the bow there. Those are nice LED headlights. Um, some rope and chain storage up here in the front. Another really cool Woldridge item is our large two-piece walkthrough windshield. Um, two pieces give you two bigger pieces of glass than three and better visibility in crummy weather, but also, of course, makes huge access for going in and out. So when we're pulled up to a beach like this, you got coolers, got grandpa, someone who may not be as agile, getting in and out is really easy. So it's easy to get in and out, haul your gear. When you're in Alaska and you're pulled up to the beach, how are you getting all your plunder and stuff to the back? Well, it's all coming through here. So as gracious as, as we can make this entry, the better. Now here we are at the helm, steering wheel for turning. Garmin 741XS, charts, sonar, depth, uh, Lavorsi digital gauges. This is standard on all of our inboard jet boats, all the V8s that is. Um, so this has a smart gauge with digital readout which tells you gallons per hour, tells you voltage of the batteries, different oil pressure, water pressure, any alarms that you may have. He has a 12 volt plug and then USB outlet on this side and on the other side of the dash, Garmin VHF 200 radio. Um, he's got a heater and defroster so there's heat that blows on either window or the passengers and heat below, locking storage box in front, storage underneath, again Bentley's Mariner seats. Blue C switch panel, we use Blue C on all of our electrical components. He has the adjustments for the heater, wash down pump, little toggle which adjusts your gauges here. You can flip through all your different modes and, and uh, of course our nice Flowtech shifting system. This is a dual lever, you can do a single lever. There's both advantages, pros and cons to each. I happen to really like the dual lever, but you can do either and we have done either. But it is made by Flowtech. Sam makes just beautiful stuff. It's very nice, billet machined, tough and works really good. Of course, canvas top, I can zip up above me and uh, stand up and drive. It rolls up, snaps to itself if I need to stand up for beaching or putting on the trailer, anything, anything like that. So that's the basics of the front.
Well, she ran great, as you can see, and uh, very easy to control, slow speed and high speed. That comes to with the Hamilton jet and the way it's designed and also the shape of our bottom. So, very cool boat, two thumbs up from me.